different sounds, right? And varying intensities of power, all from one voice. What about you? How many different sounds can your voice produce? Well, you never know until you've tried. And that's what today's lesson is all about. Well, now you might have heard of different terms like chest voice and head voice. What does all of this mean? Don't you worry. The idea today is just for us to get exposure to different sounds that the human voice is able to create. And for that, one important thing that you could do is to keep listening to different songs, different kinds of music, observe the human voice and see the different sounds that it makes. And today, let's start off with our speaking voice. So if you place your palm on your chest, you feel a little bit of vibration there. So most of us, when we talk, we use our chest voice. It's, it's a bit of a lower, a warmer tone that you feel there, right? Now you convert that same tone into singing. Ah, let's take the example of a melody like, I could have danced all night. Ah, you feel a nice vibration there. And that's the chest voice. Now, as we go higher on in our registers, it might seem a little difficult to push this, this same technique up, right? I could have danced all night. It's beginning to get a little scratchy and my voice starts to break. So that's my cue to switch to what we could call the beginning of exploring our head voice. So how do you find your head voice? So just like we did in our warm up, start with a sigh and a yawn like Oh. Okay, let's do that again. And this time I'd like you to stop on a note. Oh. And this time, try and observe where you feel the vibrations. Are they still on your chest or are they somewhere else? Oh. For me, it seems like it's slightly higher up somewhere in my head. And this could lead you to start exploring your head voice. Now you could use this idea for this technique in different intensities depending on the style that you choose to sing. For example, see how you can vary it. Play around with your voice and see how you can use it as a stylistic choice to color the songs that you sing. So simply put, chest voice and head voice are all just different parts of your vocal range of one voice. So once you're comfortable playing around and exploring the different sounds that your voice can make, step two would then be to work on blending the two tones together, the two techniques together, and also switching between them. So let's take the yawn example again. If we're switching between two notes, yeah, I'm using two different techniques here, right? So I could choose to sing yeah, but it's a little scratchy, sounds a little scratchy there. So I could instead try and go yeah, so switch from high to low and try and bring that technique down so once you get used to it, that blend will be a lot more seamless. <laughs>